Hello friends and welcome to my YouTube channel Simply Stocks and today I am going to talk about Bajaj Consumer Care a very interesting company from the Bajaj group whether the valuations are reasonable for investment or you should avoid it so let's understand let's get started first of all a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation and people taking any position into any share that I talk about should do that with their own due diligence and research and I am not in favor or against any company that I talk about before I talk about Bajaj Consumer, here is a small request that kindly support me on Patreon and once you do that it will help me grow the channel, it will help you also ask me questions on a daily basis. Once you get the $10 membership, you will ask me unlimited questions on a daily basis on markets and stocks. Uh, you have access to my portfolio, my watch list and a number of podcasts that I put up every second or third day and I am trying to do that on every day. For detailed market or company talk, you can directly email me and we can work things out. Now about Bajaj Consumer Care, established in 1930, it has pan-India presence. Uh, Bajaj Consumer produces hygiene, health and toiletries. Uh, brands in hair and skin care such as Bajaj Almonds and Bajaj No Marks are uh, primary in this uh, segment. Part of the Bajaj group so has a very high pedigree. Market cap is around 3000 crores, 2800 to 3000 crores. If you look at the financials and now Q2 numbers are coming out. So Q2 FY21 numbers of Bajaj Consumer Care uh, versus FY20. So what has happened is that the sales are virtually flat, just an increase of 2 to 2.5%. Uh, profit was absolutely flat at 56 crores, same as last year, which is, which is quite commendable considering that the situation in India, especially in western part of India, is not that great with respect to the pandemic. It is a completely debt-free company and it trades at a PE of around 15-17 which is good. That is a forward PE I am looking at, not, not just FY21 numbers. Uh, return on equity of around 32% which is quite decent and net profit margin is around 24%. Now look at the performance, company has been performing well on ratios, so on the basis of return ratios the company has done extremely well to have northwards of 20% ROEs, northwards of 20% you can say profit margins, uh, numbers subdued on back of heavy competition, so you need to understand that other companies are doing even better, so companies like Dabur, HUL, Nestle, uh, you have GSK Consumer, uh, and other companies they, they are doing extremely well Gillette etc on on this margins front and on this profit growth uh, front even so something like an HUL has a RO I think ROE or ROC of over 70 80 percent which is just astonishing so and, and Nestle also has it over 40 percent so that's why people prefer those companies rather than companies like Bajaj consumer but uh, on on an individual basis the company is doing pretty well margins have suffered on basis of heavy expenses that has been incurred over the last two quarters uh, stock has been relentlessly falling for the last two and a half years so you need to understand that the stock has gone down from 400 odd i, I think sorry not 400 odd but 7 800 odd to what it is today and it has done fine, uh, not done that badly up till Feb March and then the fall happened in February and March and most of the consumer companies have come back and have done well uh, but Bajaj Consumer Care has not uh, uh, recovered that much. This is because of the heavy competition and that companies that I have just mentioned have done much better than uh, what uh, Bajaj Consumer have done. Low promoter holding is a downer for the company and many, many large companies are better on ground in sales and marketing compared to Bajaj Consumer Care. Yes, yes this company has couple of products which, which you can say that they have a slight advantage or competitive advantage and they sell a lot. Otherwise on a holistic basis I won't say that the company is doing that great with respect to a complete portfolio of products. I think HUL and Nestle are doing much better in this uh, you can say space uh, of uh, FMCG. If you look at the technicals it is trading just above the 200 DMA which is quite good so the charts have become 
मच बेटर दैन वॉट इट वॉज बिफोर इट सॉ ब्रेक डाउन ऑन चार्ट इन फेबररी एंड मार्च एंड रिकवरी हैज़ बीन पेनफुल एंड ओवर द लास्ट टू मंथ्स इट हैज़ टेकन अ वाइल बिफोर द स्टॉक हैज़ कम बैक टू द लेवल्स दैट दे हैव इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड प्रमोटर होल्डिंग इज बेटर नाउ टू ट्वेंटी इज स्ट्रॉन्ग रेजिस्टेंस वन हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी इज़ अ क्रिटिकल सपोर्ट सो इट इज़ अबव वन सेवेंटी इट इज़ क्लोजर टू वन एटी फाइव वन नाइन्टी विच इज़ गुड इफ समबडी वॉन्ट्स टू टेक अ स्मॉलर ट्रेड दैन आई वुड से वन सेवेंटी कुड बी अ स्टॉप लॉस इट इज़ गेटिंग स्ट्रॉगर ऑन चार्ज विद मार्केट कैप ऑफ अराउंड ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी एट हंड्रेड क्रोज I believe that once 220, 230 is taken out, then we will see a real up move. But that will only happen when results get much better and people or informed investors have an understanding that the company is doing much better on the ground. Until then, I think it could be range bound between 170 on the lower side and 220 on the upper end. So what needs to be done? In my opinion, I would say avoid at these levels. Uh, if you want to really invest or you're invested, uh, be invested at around five percent. I think companies which are bigger in this sector, and I've maintained this for all sectors, that companies which are bigger in in a particular sector will keep getting bigger. So something like an HUL and Nestle will keep getting bigger. You see that results were slightly positive for Nestle, and you see the move on the stock from fifteen thousand now it is closer to seventeen and a half thousand, and same goes with other companies. so not the favorite of mine in the fmcg pack i have always maintained that hul at current levels looks very attractive at around 2200 below 2200 closer to 2000 would be a, a very good buy so i would say if you have not bought it in my opinion it's an avoid but take your own call let profit and growth come back big time in the stock and you'll know it uh, with uh, all the talks on the channels etc so then we'll we'll look at the stock so buy only the best in the business who are doing the the best of the works here in india because big is getting bigger uh low profit growth over a period of time is a big negative for the stock so this was my video on bajaj consumer care please like and subscribe my channel hit the bell icon so that you can get my video straight away when i post it thank you